This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion DB4-4000 laptop computer, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on it. Okay, before we start, a few words about the DV4. Uh, the DV4 model has been around for uh, for a while. Uh, this is early 2012, so I believe it's been around since 2009 or so. But um, the earlier models are very different from this model, which came out in mid-2011, perhaps. So you have to know what the numbers are after the DV4. So this is a DV4-4000. So any model that says DV4-2000 or DV4-1000 is going to have a totally different procedure and a totally different screen. So when you ask for a DV4 screen, you got to specify, specify that this is a DV4-4000 laptop computer. All right, uh, so let's get started. Before we do anything, we want to remove the battery. <coughs> we flip the laptop over, slide the lever, there's just one lever, and put the battery to the side. And while we're there, I'll show you how to find the model number for this particular model, for the DV4-4000. It's not easy. It's under the battery, and it's in the middle row of text or information under some barcodes. So let's get a close-up, see if we can get a good focus. There it is. This particular one is DV4-4140US. DV4-4140US. So anything that starts with in the 4000s, this procedure will work for. Okay, so now we got that straightened out. If we flip the laptop back over and see what we need to do. As with pretty much all other laptop computers, this one has a screen bezel, a plastic frame that goes around the screen, which we need to remove, and the screen bezel is secured by two screws on the bottom down here, and they're hidden by some rubber covers. So we're going to have to remove the rubber covers and the two screws. So before that, let's go over the tools we need. We need an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade to remove rubber covers and perhaps other jobs. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that are stuck and manipulate any cables that we might encounter. And also some screwdrivers. Um, a, PH, a PH1 screwdriver. Uh, the PH stands for Phillips, and one stands for the screwdriver size. A PH00 screwdriver, sometimes the laptops have smaller size screws, and we need a PH00 screwdriver for that. And uh, some PH0 screwdrivers will work also. And also, just in case, a fathead screwdriver to pry stuff or to remove screws that are an angle, but most likely we won't be using this one for this laptop. All right, so let's get started. We use our X-Acto knife, or hobby knife, to remove the rubber screw cover. Okay, one and two. And then we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the screws at the bottom. One and two. Now for each set of screws, I like to put them in a pile and keep them the piles in the order in which I remove. So when I assemble the laptop again, I can keep track of which screws go where. Okay, next we need to snap off the screen bezel. And the way you do that is you put your fingertips or fingernails under the bezel on the screen side and gently start lifting it up and listen for snapping sounds. And if you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. And you slowly work your way around the laptop. If you get stuck at a place, go to a different place where it's easier and come back to the place where you're stuck at. It's most often you'll get stuck in the corners, so 
in the corners this is what sometimes works if you try to lift it up from the outside and that works so what I did is I pulled it out and lifted it up with my fingernail from the outside and that seemed to work so let's try the same thing again here doesn't work quite as well okay so lift it up and pry up from the outside and that seems to work okay and then we go to the bottom same thing on the bottom just take your time and so we remove the screen bevel and almost there just one more and the screen bezel is removed this is probably the hardest part of the whole procedure so take your time on this try not to damage anything and just go slow eventually you get the right feel and it comes off okay so let's take a look at the screen assembly for this type of screen it's mounted to some metal mounting brackets with screws on the side and we have to access these screws on the side and right now the way it is um, it's a little bit hidden so you have to pull the screen forward a little bit from the screen assembly and we have a couple tricks for that the first thing is you remove the screws that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the top of the screen assembly there's two screws one and two okay and we pull the screen forward a little bit from the screen assembly Let's see if it goes and once we do that we can access pretty much all the screws so the other trick i usually do is loosen these two screws on each side and that allows you to pull the screen forward a little bit more but in this case we probably won't need to do that so I won't do unnecessary steps. So let's access these screws here. Now for the screws on the side, they're a little bit smaller, so we need our PH00 screwdriver. And there's three screws on each side, and we remove all three. One. Let's try the pH 1. This might work better. Yeah, the pH 1 works better. So just try seeing which screwdriver works a little bit better. You don't want to strip these screws. It's happened to me a couple of times and it's no fun. Okay, and this particular one needs a pH double zero. So that's odd. One takes a double pH double zero and one takes a pH 1. So it's good to have both the screwdrivers. Okay, so let's continue. When you first start on these screws, apply apply a bit of force so you can engage the screw and you know strip the screw and after that you can let up on the force. And this was screws a little bit stuck, so we use our tweezers and I drop the screw, but I'll find it later. So let's keep moving. So make sure you have a good working environment so you don't do what I did and drop the screws. Thankfully I have extras, but you may not. So be careful with your screws. Okay, M3. While you're doing this, make sure the screen is tilted back so when you remove the last screen screw the screen just doesn't fall forward on you okay once we do that we gently start tilting the screen forward and right away we see that the webcam cable connector is attached and the cable has some adhesive that's attached to the back of the screen so what we want to do is use our exacto knife and pry this adhesive away so we can reach the connector and with our exacto knife we're going to remove the loosen up the web, webcam connector so what i did was i removed the webcam connector from the webcam so that the cable that houses it can be removed and the next thing i see is there's some adhesive tape that they secured the screen to the mounting brackets here 
and we use our exacto knife to cut open the adhesive tape at the seam one and this is a bit unusual but everyone does something a little bit different and we pull the screen forward bend it down forward and right away we see that the webcam has some adhesive to the back of the screen and we lift this up slowly okay so like this this way we have better access to the screen Lift this up goes all the way around like so and once we lift up the webcam cable we can put the screen down so the screen itself, it's an LED screen, so it only has one connector and is secured down by some adhesive tape. So the first thing we want to do is lift up this adhesive tape, like so. And also the video cable has some adhesive on the back that we want to lift up also like so and once we remove both the adhesive we slowly slide the connector back and the screen is loose okay before we go any further i'm going to reconnect it just for a little while to show you how to do it when you reconnect it you slide it you slide it back in and you'll feel two clicks you won't hear them but you'll feel them and the thing that you want to make sure is that there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. Pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this. There's no gap in the seam. So this is the place where people have the most trouble in. So if you do this part right, you'll be a lot better off and less trouble. Okay, next we're going to remove the video cable again and connector and take a look at the screen. This is a 14.0 LED screen. Um, this is a pretty commonly available and there's not much room to mess up on this screen. Let's take a look at the part number you need to know and get a good focus. Sometimes the camera wants to cooperate, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Okay, the part number you're looking for is B140XW01. That's the one, only part number you need. B140XW01. Now, uh, when you receive your screen from whoever you order, the part number will likely not be exactly the same, it will be different because five or six vendors make the exact same screen, but it will work exactly the same, it will look exactly the same. Okay, uh, now we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen, and what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the installation. And also we have a compatibility guarantee. So if you order a screen for us and it's not compatible, we'll send you the right one. And uh, finally, if you're not in the United States, we ship all over the world. So you can order from us and most likely we can ship it to your country. So to order a screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. Click buy a screen. And then there will be a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model in your email. And then we'll reply to you with the link to the right screen to buy online. And when you buy your screen, if you do not have the tools, we also sell this toolkit that was specifically picked out and designed to replace laptop screens. So you should, you'll see that online also. All right, um, when you have your new screen, you reconnect the connector as shown here. Then you reattach the webcam cable so it goes around the edge of the screen, like so. Put the screen back up using use your tweezers to reconnect the connector here. Put the three screws in on each side. Then screw in the screws on top. Snap the bezel back on and put the screws in on the outside and then the rubber covers. 
Actually, if you're able to get to this point, this assembly, the assembly part is much easier. Even though it sounds complicated, it is much easier. So you should not have any trouble. Okay, uh, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.